How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Alright, I'm heading out for Alaska this morning. Finally the day's come, I'm getting the car packed up. I just figured I would take a minute here and run down some of the stuff I always take on a road trip. I've made this trip to Alaska and back to Michigan and vice versa, visiting relatives, going back north, coming back down, probably 20 times. And I've had a lot of problems along the way and I've kind of developed a system of packing. Some of the stuff I take might not be stuff you might think of. So let me run through this with you and just kind of let you know what I'm thinking and what goes with me on a road trip. Stay tuned. Other the things that I'm bringing with me are stuff that I'm going to need up north and some of it is stuff that is just road trip. First of all, five gallons of water. Always take five gallons of water, bare minimum. You're going to drink it, you're going to give it to the dog, you're just going to use it. You're going to wash your hands, you use five gallons. I'm going 4,000 miles, wouldn't think to take anything less. Taking a couple axes, not because I plan on doing anything with them, but I'm going to take one for up north. I've got another one here I'm going to give to a sub on the way. Oh, here's an item. This is tie wire. Tie wire and a good set of lineman's pliers. Tie wire does everything that duct tape can't. Your exhaust falls off, tie wire. Your transmission bracket falls off, well, a whole bunch of tie wire. Tie wire is something that will seriously get you out of a jam should you be in one. This is the industrial steel version of duct tape. It's actually covered in duct tape. That's to keep it from all spooling out. Now tie wire is one of the darlings of the survival community. You see it in all these lists of, you know, bug out bag stuff. I came across tie wire the way people have always come across tie wire. From tying rebar with it. For 20 years I've been a cement finisher. I've tied thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of rebar with tie wire. It goes with me pretty much everywhere. It does a million different things. Uh, the people that come upon it later and kind of have brought it into that prepping discussion and survival and bug out discussion, they're spot on. They found out what, uh, what me and cement finishers have known for ever and ever, that tie wire is indispensable. Of course, what road trip isn't complete without a whole bunch of snacks? Got coffee, raisinets, chocolate bars, garbage, uh, pistachios, pecans, mixed nuts, all kinds of goodies. Brooke picked all these up for me yesterday. Thanks, son. Oh, here's one you don't think about. I always travel with a multimeter. This is just a standard digital multimeter. The things I use on it, uh, I check ohms once in a while if a ground looks good and is passing continuity but might have just uh, too much resistance. Volts to DC, you can check your alternator, check your battery while the car is running and make sure your alternator is working if you're having charging issues. And uh, the continuity, if you're wondering if you've got a ground that's bad, trailer lights, there you go. You can put the two prongs on two areas that should be passing a circuit or that should be passing current or should be connected to ground and make sure that they are. I've had enough electrical problems over the years. I, I never travel without a multimeter. Well, here we are all packed up and ready. A couple chainsaws, I got a couple axes, got a Honda generator I just bought this spring. That's awesome. Got my briefcase, my travel bag, my big backpack, my ukulele, got some food. Here's where Daisy sleeps. She's got a cushion and she's got a blanket and she's got my pillow, which she'll probably use for her pillow until I need my pillow. Time to head to Alaska. I gotta say, I've kind of been pretty hesitant. I don't know how the car is gonna handle it. Everything's been fine, but it's a long trip. I changed the oil. I'm, I think I'm all ready to go. Got Daisy's dog bed all set up in the back. I guess I'm to the point where I just fire it up and head down the highway and cross my fingers. And sometimes that is the best way to roll. Just, just put it in drive and go. Man, I don't know how many times I've seen this view. Here we are back in the car, ready to take off. A Zeppelin 4 is somewhere in this mess, but I'm probably never gonna listen to it because I did get some other tapes. I got an audio book, that'll be good. What really matters is just getting from point A to point B without a major catastrophe. That's what really matters. Yeah. 
So, let's fire this thing up. Head north. By the time we hit Canada, I should know if this car is actually going to make it or if I just need to turn around and come back. And uh, maybe buy another thousand dollar car and shove all this junk in that. Alright, let's hit the road. So far, so good.